Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1938 threepence from the reign of King George VI, the coin we can see on screen now. This is the brass variety. I'll first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So let's begin. Here is a reverse design and it was done by George Kruger Gray. We can see a thrift plant there in the middle. This is a thrift plant with three flowering buds and then sort of lots of vines and uh, stems below. Below this is the date, the date 1938. This was the second year these coins were produced, starting in 1937. We then have to the top the words three pence in capitals. This obviously gives us the value or denomination of three pence, its value when it would be used and spent in changed back in 1938. Now we can see this is not a round coin. In fact, it has 12 sides. And this was the first non-round coin to ever circulate in Britain when first released, as I say, in 1937, having 12 sides rather than one, as all other coins did. Now then, here is the obverse, we can see a portrait of King George VI. This is the only portrait of him used on British coins during his reign, and it was done by Humphrey Paget. We can see the initials there, HP, below his portrait, standing for Humphrey Paget, the designer. He faces to the left, and is uncrowned with no laureate, so it's a left-facing bearhead bust. Now around him is a Latin abbreviated legend, and this does read Georgibus, VI, DG, BR, Omn, Rex, FD, Ind, Imp. And this translates to English as George VI, by the grace of God, King of all the Britons, Defender of the Faith, and Emperor of India. His titles as monarch, and how he's been chosen by God to rule the kingdom and the empire overseas. So there's the design, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures of the 1938 brass threepence. A coin made at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. Now you may guess the composition of this coin of a brass threepence is of course made of brass, but more specifically, it is 79% copper, 20% zinc, and then 1% nickel, so there are three metals that make up the composition of the brass threepence, as we just see there. The weight of the coin is 6.8 grams, so much heavier and larger coin than the previous, smaller, silver threepence, with a diameter here of 21mm compared to the silver ones, 16mm. So a larger coin, less easy to lose. The mintage of the 1938 brass threepence is 14,532,332. So in no means a rare coin, a common year, with many, many millions of them out there and being produced back in that year. The threepence coin is of course worth three pence. This is then one quarter of a shilling, or one eightieth of a pound sterling, so there will be 80 of these coins to every predecimal pound. And back in 1938 when the coin was made, a three pence was equal to one pound and four pence today. So an easy comparison there between having a pound coin today, or a brass three pence back then, similar styles of shape of coin, and similar values. And the coin was then demonetized in 1971 for the new decimal coins, as there's no decimal three pence. So there we go, we'll now move on to the value of the coin today for a collector looking to buy one. So in poor condition it was sold for around 40 pence, in fine condition around one pound, extremely fine, 15 pounds, and up to 30 pounds in the highest grade, uncirculated, with no marks, wear or damage to the coin. So an overall fairly cheap coin, with a low price for most grades, only having a bit of a higher price in the absolute top grade, like uncirculated or extremely fine. So please do comment down below if you have one, and what you think of this coin, and as well, please do subscribe to the channel, if you've learned something new and enjoyed. And of course, thank you for watching to the end, we very much appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future, on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.